Avian flu is a form of influenza that circulates in wild bird populations. But in the U.S., we've had over 80 infections of humans with H5N1 just in the last 12 months. Prior to that, we only had one infection in the last 25 years. My lab tries to study the viruses that are currently circulating in humans, and we also study emerging viruses like the avian flu H5N1. Respiratory viruses have an ability to introduce changes into their genes. That's what we're seeing right now with the H5N1 avian flu viruses. We're seeing mutations that we think will cause those viruses to replicate better in humans, and that's really putting us on our top guard. And it's really important to realize private philanthropy, like from the Eliasberg Family Foundation, really formed some of the seed funding to do those first few experimental systems to really solidify an idea and allow you to then go to the federal funding agencies with a stronger and complete case for why this research needs to continue to be funded. We're a bit more prepared for an H5N1 pandemic than we were for COVID-19 because Basic research efforts have provided us with antivirals, with the blueprint for how to make a good flu vaccine. But now is the time to act to limit its infection and its disease potential.